His name was Tisibius, an ingenious inventor who discovered something that is an integral part of our modern world, the power of air. Today, we use compressed air for all kinds of things. We take it for granted. When you fill your tires, you're using compressed air. These modern racing cars depend on it. But have you ever thought who came up with this idea? Thank Tisibius. These cars go over 200 miles per hour. But they're not the fastest machines in the workshop. Far from it. The turning speed is between 10 and 15,000 RPM, so it's a seriously powerful bit of kit. And this power all comes from compressed air. There's nothing more effective. To watch a pit crew work as they do, changing the tires as quickly as possible using this technology is one of the most incredible sights. It's amazing to think that the technology in this was being used over 2,000 years ago. And it was Tisibius who came up with the idea in ancient Alexandria. He discovered that air had mass and pressure. This was a giant scientific leap. Much like Einstein's incredible insights into space and time. But how did this little-known ancient genius make this breakthrough? It all started in a barber shop. Cassibius grew up as the son of a barber, working in a barber shop. And one of the things he seems to have invented early on is a mirror that could be raised up and down to help with the job of shaving people. And that invention led him on to discover something else. That when the mirror on its lead counterweight moved up and down, there was this noise, the noise of air as it escaped and rushed back into the casing around the lead weight. And that led Cebus to realize that air was a substance. Air was a thing that could be compressed and which would expand. Tisibius was quick to realize that compressed air could be used as a source of power and that it could power water. It wasn't long before he came up with this. The water pump. It was so ahead of its time, it was a truly remarkable invention. Today, we'd basically call this a, a two-cylinder reciprocating force pump. Um, to explain it, I'll probably turn it around and we can actually see the mechanism. As the piston comes up, the suction draws in water through this bottom flap valve. Then on the downstroke, the force of the pressure closes the bottom flap valve. So the only place for the water to go is through this orifice here and into the receiving chamber through another valve. The other piston is doing exactly the opposite. As the one on the left is filling, the one on the right is pushing the water out. And with constant pumping, a continual flow of water is forced from the receiving chamber up through a nozzle at the top. Incredibly, Tisibius's water pump was the world's first fire engine. In Alexandria, it was rushed out in emergencies all over the city. It seems very effective. I think it would be useful in a fire. It would certainly enable uh, a jet of water to get where people couldn't. In the ancient world, a directed jet of water like this was something new and amazing. But after the Romans, the firefighting water pump disappeared. The idea was lost. And it's not until the 15th century that it's reinvented. It's amazing to think the fire engine was invented over 2,000 years ago. And thanks to Tisibius, today we still fight fires in the same way.